Introduction and overview to LinkedIn Helper. LinkedIn Helper is a great add-on and automation tool that you can use with LinkedIn as a platform to automate much of what you normally do on the front end of building an audience and communicating with that audience. So let's go over to LinkedIn. Once you have LinkedIn Helper installed, um, it'll come up with the LinkedIn platform. If not, it's always at the top toolbar right here uh, with an icon. Once that's up, you can do a number of different things. And right in the middle, you see here, these three bars, menu, will pull up everything you can do. You can see there's a lot of functions here. What you need to do is take it piece by piece, learn each piece, uh, practically apply what you've learned, and then come back and start to do the next thing. So today, what we're gonna do is we're going to collect, select, and invite second and third contacts. We're gonna go ahead and select that. I'm gonna close this. Now you can see here, there's a list and you can see I have create new default entrepreneur business development financial services. If I was searching for these people, I would reopen this list, but we're gonna search for a brand new group of people today uh, so that we can create a new list. That's exactly what we're gonna do. And we're gonna call this list national sales managers. That's what uh, that we're gonna be searching for. So that's how we're gonna create the list. As soon as that's created, now what we need to do is actually go over to the LinkedIn platform and go ahead and initiate our search. So once again, we're gonna be looking for national sales managers and we're gonna search. Now, of course, we're gonna be searching for people. And remember, we're trying to add to our network. So we're gonna be selecting second and third connections. We apply that. As soon as that catches, we wanna set up one more filter for the purposes of what I do, I need to keep it in the US. So I apply that. And then once that's filtered out, now we have the results for national sales manager. We've got the list created for national sales manager. Now what we need to do is we need to start collecting profiles. And you can see in this navigation bar right here, collect has already been initiated with this blue box. Once you see this, you can go ahead and hit collect contacts for inviting. Now what that's gonna do is gonna start to filter through and it's gonna start to look at profiles and pull profiles that we are looking for that fit into our list. And you can see right down here already collected, there is 10. What we're gonna do today for the purposes of this video is we're gonna stop on about 50 or 60. So we'll let it filter through, it'll grab 10 at a time. And as it does that, the already collected uh, will continue to keep count of where we are. So we're at 19 right now. So we'll let this run for just you know, 15, 20 seconds more. After we collect the contacts, we're gonna go back through and we're gonna invite these people or ask to join their professional network. And we do so with a, um, an invitation message that we're going to create and then save. So the next time that we're looking or trying to add national sales managers or someone that fits into that list, We'll have our invitation already saved and we can go and just select it and we can start to invite. So we're at 39 right now. And you can see it's just continuing to go through and pull profiles. And all these profiles will be under our list of national sales managers. Okay. 56 is good, so we're gonna stop collecting contacts. We're gonna give it just a second to catch up. And then as soon as it does, we're gonna stay with the same exact list that we created and all the profiles that we just pulled, we're gonna send them an invitation message. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and set up our message. Message is right here. Now, if I had an existing list with an existing message, it would already pull up and I can use that. But anytime you're creating a new list, creating a new message, just anywhere in the box, go ahead and click. And that takes you to where you can create your message. So I'm gonna put hello. And then these top things will populate their first name, last name. So first name, space, last name, comma. And then we're just gonna type out uh, invitation message. My name is Mike Amos. And I came across your profile on LinkedIn today. 
I would like to join your professional network. I look forward to getting to know you and future interaction. Have a productive rest of your day. Now, because we came out with our name in the very uh, front of this message, there's no real need to put it at the end. Thanks. So we've got save, and if we preview it, it's always going to preview if we were going to Bill Gates. And it's a little off. You can't read all of it, but it's perfect. It works. Uh, so we're going to close that. Now, once again, we've got national sales managers. We've got our message that goes out. And now what we want to do is we want to start to invite. And as soon as we press invite, blue box comes up, start profile inviting. We click that. Now what it's going to do, it's going to start to go to those same profiles that we just pulled. And it's going to start to revisit those. And it's going to start to send invitation connection requests. You can see it mimics the activity of a human. Uh, so there's some timeouts and spaces that go along with this. but you can see right there, it's going to skip over this. It's going to type in our message. And you can leave this on the background, do something else. This will continue to work for you. LinkedIn Helper is like your automated assistant for LinkedIn. I'm not going to let this run too many, but I'm just going to show you a couple more. As soon as this is done, it will send the invitation. And then it is on to the next one. It's going to pull up the next profile. And you can see down here in the box, invited in current period one. So out of the 66 in queue that we pulled earlier, we've invited one. And you can see here, the next countdown is going to be in about 50 seconds. So there's about a minute interval between. Once again, that's to mimic the actual actions of a human. Um, it works out better that way. So it's going to count down. As soon as this counts down, I'll show you one more. And this will be the conclusion of the first step in using LinkedIn Helper, which is simply to collect, select, and invite second and third connections, which adds to your existing network. And as soon as those people start accepting that invitation, we're going to move on to step two in the next video, which is just sending out a thank you for connecting and a welcome message to those new invites. We've got about less than 10 seconds here before it pulls the next profile, and this will be the last one that we see before closing down the video. Once again, if you leave this on the background, just make sure it's actually up in a separate screen. It will continue to work. So it pulled the next profile. It's going to revisit the profile just like before, and it's going to pull up the invitation. It's going to bypass the default invitation. And then as soon as it does, it's going to go ahead and type out that connection message that we put in. So once again, this is a great way to automate what you normally do on the front end. Um, saves you a lot of time. It's a great time management tool. And it's also got some great functions that will allow you, once you build up enough people with enough lists, to go out and start talking to people as an entrepreneur, as a real estate agent, as a national sales manager, and have a conversation with them that's relevant to them, um, their profession, their career, and get to know other people in their network as well that you know are like-minded. So that's all for today. I hope you guys got a basic introduction here. Just follow the series that comes out, and you'll see how to welcome how to send first connection, how to auto-endorse. There's a lot of things that we can do here, but we do want to take it step by step.